హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు విద్యా టీవీ ఈ పర్టికులర్ వీడియోలో మనం యాప్టిట్యూడ్ సంబంధించిన కొన్ని ఎంసీక్యూస్ చేద్దాం ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈజ్ ఎల్సిఎం ఆఫ్ టూ నెంబర్స్ ఈజ్ సెవెంటీ సెవెన్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ ద హెచ్సిఎఫ్ ఈజ్ లెవెన్ ఎల్సిఎం ఆఫ్ టూ నెంబర్స్ ఈజ్ సెవెంటీ సెవెన్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ ద హెచ్సిఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ద టూ నెంబర్స్ ఈజ్ లెవెన్ ఇఫ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద టూ నెంబర్స్ ఈజ్ టూ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ దెన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద నెక్స్ట్ నెంబర్ ఓకే సో we have a formula for this formula entante lcm into hcf equals to product of two numbers and a uh, two numbers x into y aithe lcm into hcf equals to x into y so manaku ichina question lo lcm is 700 hcf is 11 x number and oka two numbers lo oka number 275 next number enta anedi mana question so therefore next number ante two numbers lo first number is 275 second number is 7700 into 11 by 275 which is equal to 308 which is equal to 308 that is option 4 is the right answer that is 308 option 4 is the right answer next question the product of two numbers is 120 and the sum of their squares is 289 the sum of the number is what the product of two numbers is 120 and their squares is 289 and what is the sum of the numbers okay so the product of two numbers is okay well let us assume the two numbers are x and y so the product of two numbers is 120 and the sum of their squares ante x square plus y square sum of their squares is 289 so what yokka sum enda ante x plus y enda ani adugutunna the question is that the sum of the sum of x plus y is how much so adey enti ippudu chuddam so simply x plus y whole square manam telusulo formula x square plus y square plus 2xy so ikka clear ga manaku sum of the squares is 289 and uh, product of the two numbers is 20 uh, 120 so that is 2 into 120 so 2 into 120 is how much uh 240 so 240 plus 240 plus 289 equals to 9 10 11 12 that is 2 2 4 5 5 29 so x plus y whole square equals to 5 29 and a calls in the sum of the numbers so e square need to one piece there we have x plus y equals to under root 529 so that is nothing but under root 529 is nothing but 23 so the sum of the numbers is nothing but x plus y equals to 23 that is option 2 is the right answer option 2 is the right answer తర్వాత క్వశ్చన్ టూ ట్రైన్స్ ఆఫ్ లెంత్ లెన్స్ వన్ సిక్స్టీ మీటర్స్ అండ్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ మీటర్స్ ట్రావెల్ అట్ స్పీడ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫార్టీ ఎయిట్ మీటర్స్ పర్ సెకండ్ అండ్ ఫిఫ్టీ టూ మీటర్స్ పర్ సెకండ్ ఇన్ ఆపోజిట్ డైరెక్షన్ టు ఈచ్ అదర్ ఆపోజిట్ డైరెక్షన్ టు ఈచ్ అదర్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద టోటల్ టైమ్ టేకెన్ బై దెమ్ టు క్రాస్ ఈచ్ అదర్ ఓకే వాట్ ఈస్ ద టోటల్ టైమ్ taken to cross each other manaku telisindi uh, what is time is nothing but distance by speed time is nothing but distance by speed so total distance is nothing but total length of the train that is two trains 160 plus 200 by uh, 48 plus 52 speeds total distance is 160 plus 200 by 48 plus 2 that is 
160 360 by 9 10 that is 100 360 by 100 that is distance by speed is nothing but time so 360 by 100 is nothing but equals to 3.6 360 by 100 equals 3.6 that is option 2 is the right answer so the total time taken to cross each other is 3.6 seconds that is option 2 is the right answer next question a sum of money becomes 5 times in 20 years calculate the rate of interest a sum of money becomes 5 times in 20 years calculate the rate of interest it is a simple interest problem so there is a problem for uh, right, uh, there is a formula for this rate of interest equals to simple x minus 5 into 100 by time taken rate of interest equals to x minus 1 rate of interest equals to x minus 1 x and is the number of times x minus 1 into 100 by time taken let us substitute the values r equals to x minus 1 and the number of times any 5 5 minus 1 into 100 by total number of years that is nothing but 20 that is r equals to 4 into 100 by 20 so which is 400 by 20 which is equals to 20 that means rate of interest is 20 percent rate of interest is 20 percent option 1 is the right answer next question find the simple interest on rupees 65 thousand at six in six to two by three percent per annum for a period of nine months find the simple interest on sixty five thousand at six into six two by three percent per annum for a period of nine months so as we know simple interest si equals to ptr by hundred simple interest formula is ptr by 100 p is principal amount t is the time and r is the rate of interest by 100 now let us substitute the values principal amount is 65000 into rate of interest is 6 2 by 3 is 6 3 is 18 19 20 20 by 3 into time taken is 9 months and so 9 months and a uh, 9 by 12th year and uh, 3 3 are 9 3 4 are and uh, that is into 3 by 4th of year 3 by 4 65,000 into 20 by 3 into 3 by 4 so that is equals to we get the answer as 3250 our answer is 3250 65,000 into 20 by 3 into 3 by 4 will give us 3250 so our answer is option 2 simple interest is 3250 that is option 2 is the right answer next next question is related to indices and certs so that is this is 17 to the 3 power 5 into value into 17 to the power question mark equals to 17 to the power 8 this is our question what is this value of x okay right uh, let us calculate so power in the values are same unai gavati therefore we take uh, we make use of the powers okay so we have it as 3.5 plus into the gavati x equals to 8 we are taking the powers 3.5 question place law 
x beta equals to 17 to the power 8. So therefore x value is nothing but 8 minus 3.5 which is equal to right 4.5 okay our answer is option 4 4.5 that is option 4 is the right answer 4.5 next question if the average of three consecutive even numbers is 34 find the largest of these numbers average of three consecutive even numbers so let the three consecutive even numbers be x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 average under gavati three numbers in the three equals to 34 on simplification of this equation we get it as 3x plus 6 equals to 34 into 2 is 102 34 into 2 sorry into 3 34 into 3 3x plus 6 by 3 equals to 34 we treat this cost we get it as 34 into 3 we get it as 102 so 3x plus 6 equals to 102 otherwise 3x equals to 102 minus 6 which is nothing but uh, 96 so 3x equals to 96 otherwise x equals to 96 by 3 which is equal to 32 so x value equals to 32 Question ND find the largest of these numbers. So largest of the consecutive given consecutive numbers is x plus 4. That is 32 plus 4 which is nothing but 36. So our answer is option 4, 36. Option 4 is the right answer. Next question find the roots of the quadratic equation x square plus 2x minus 15 equals to 0. He is asking us to find out the roots. So let us factorize this equation. We can write it as x square plus 5x minus 3x minus 15 equals to 0. Under 2x plus law, I am writing it as 5x minus 3x. Now if I take x common, x plus 5. Similarly, here also if I take minus 3 as common, here also we get it as x plus 5. So therefore the roots are x plus 5 and, and x minus 3. x plus 5 and x minus 3 that means x values are either and x plus 5 equals to 0 or x minus 3 equals to 0. That means x is either equal to minus 5 or x equals to 3. So x values can be 3. The roots of the given quadratic equation are minus 5 and minus sorry minus 5 and plus 3. That means option 1 is the right answer minus 5 and 3. That's all for this video. Thank you.